afternoon, friends. How are you? You're from school, right? Yes. Then let's work together. Let's work together. So school is, is always nice. When you're coming back from school, like this time around, you know that at home, if you were away from home, they'll probably leave some, some Shima just for you alone. Look, see, they, they've left Shima for you, you know that? Yes. Okay, how, how do you feel? <laughs> Since you are hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so, one of the books that I read when I was still in primary school, like these guys here, back in 1990 something, is the train journey supplementary one of the supplementary books that was there then as english book to sharpen up our, our, our thinking so the train journey was an amazing storybook and those that read it you recall that it really was an amazing book but if you are in lusaka or anywhere in the country you would want to embark on a train journey and back in the days when i used to read that supplementary book about the train journey I never had an opportunity to step foot into the train itself and later on just to look at it. So my anxiety then was to one day get to look at a train. Today, we're going to have one smaller version though. The community here is very quiet. You can literally hear your own footsteps. Actually, paying attention, there's a sound of a bird somewhere. But that's the community we are in today for the Zambian Genius. And this unfinished building here has the person we are looking for. Let's check him out. Wow, looks like he's a busy man. Let's just step him for a while. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. How Good are you? To, to see you, Davis. Yeah. yeah. How, how, how are you here? I'm fine. I can see unfinished buildings around. This is like a developing community, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is, yes, yes. And you call it? They call it Makwava. Makwava. Yeah. But it's in Lusaka West, we yeah, understand. Yeah, Lusaka West, yeah. Okay, so uh, what you want to show the people uh, is what we came here for. Where is it? Uh, it is uh, inside the, the unfinished house. The other one? Yeah. Lead us there. Let's see. I'm, I'm sweating, it's summertime as you can see, yeah, and I've got water all, all over my face. And uh, it's an open building and finished house. But this is where uh, Gideon, Davis rather, does his thing. Uh, it keeps him busy. There's a solar panel behind me, there's a plank here, a lot of wires around, and there's a small, we don't know what that is yet. So he's going to tell us. And uh, so he's, he's going to take it up from now until we really get to understand what's going on here. Yeah. Please get on with it. Okay, first and foremost, I have to start with the, what you see there. This has got uh, the PH at AZ and the PH at AZ, which means uh, when the electric current flow from A to Z, uh, it doesn't mean that uh, the, electric, the electricity will reach the point where AZ is. So there is a pH1, 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 and also pH1, 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 which means pH1, which means that when the electricity flow from pH1 to the point to the pH1, which means the electricity will not flow from po this point to this point using pH. What does pH mean? pH means power house. 
power switch uh, just more is express where when the electric electric current flow it is not reach the uh, other side of the, the press so this is uh, how it is so we are now starting making a sample of uh, what uh, I'm making the electric electric motor train so what I'm making here is a railway line so this is uh, the electric train that I make this electro train electric motor train is a train that ca that can powered by electricity without a fed railway so this is a sample uh, as you can see inside there there is a uh, a small motor which is has got a, um, a, which use a, uh, 10, 10 volts yeah. so as you can see there you can see this two line this two, this two line which means this is a, a railway line which has got uh, two lines line in the left side line in the uh, right side so in the right side I call it positive in the uh, left side, I call it, I call it uh, negative side. So. so tell the people, yeah, these are electric lines, yeah, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I was thinking because globally, I think what we have is, if an electric, what, what's the electric? Oh, it's the they electric use bus. A railway. Yeah, which means on the. Oh, the, the electric top. bus has uh, electricity on top. Yeah. So this, this one, one is not going to have in the top. It will be at the bottom yeah. still. Okay, let, let's see the, the food demonstration. So we are now going to, to put the electricity, electricity in the railway line so that it, the electric, the electric train so that you can start, okay. start moving. Okay. So, so where's is, the electricity so coming from? So the electric from? Come, come from the solar panel which I put there. So when you, when the electric reach the railway line, which means the electric is up to put part the sample. Oh. So, so all right. It's going forward. So and it's going to be a speed train. Yeah. yeah. So just this is just a sample so that you may be People they can able to see what I'm doing as a sample itself. Okay. So they are able to see. So now we we are just coming from a thorough explanation of how this invention is going to work. And we know that government already has stepped up its game in trying to refurbish the rail line. There are lots of uh, consultations going on to try and bring back the commuter trains. Uh, the once uh, train that went to pick people from Chilenje, Livala, Kabwata, taking them into town back in the days. Uh, I was never there. I hadn't yet come into Lusaka, but I heard there was such a thing. And that's what government is working on. And we know that right now, there was a statutory instrument that was signed by Minister of Communications and Transport to move 30% uh, of cargo from the trucks on the road to the rail line, meaning that a lot of locomotives will be sent to transport this heavy cargo. But our interest today is the train journey. And when we talk about the train journey, we are talking about humans moving on the train journey fast and quicker. Livingston to Lusaka, let's say maybe let it take us like an hour, as it is done in other developed countries. Government is already on it. But this time around, we have an idea that's coming from a youth right in Zambia, homegrown solution to some of the problems we are facing. Davis Kalombo is his name. You have given us an explanation, quite okay. And now, we just first of all want you to tell us, tell the people out there, what do you do? What have you done for you to get to think like this? How far have you gone in your education? Uh, I just stopped when I was in grade seven. That is about my education. Yeah. So. What, what caused you to stop going to school at grade seven? Uh, I facing a lot of challenges, so I, I end up stopping going to school. Where were you then? I was being at Mansa. Oh, Kum Mansa. Yeah. All right. At what, 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 what school were you at? I was being at Masaila Basic School. Okay. So it, it's amazing. Remember, Zephaniah, the mechanic 
the one that has a vehicle that doesn't have the back and doesn't have doesn't have the back it moves both ways this side it's, it's forward and this side he told us he is a grade 7 failure which we said no he's not he's a grade 7 achiever and here's Davis Colombo dropped out of school at grade 7 but look at what he's thinking now to sum it all up he doesn't just have it like in demonstration like this but he's got you know authentication like this these are the connections this is how it's, it's going to work we'll be able to to show you everything like the paperwork that is done so you are telling us this is the explanation that yeah, you've got is, for us yeah yeah people will be looking so he says electricity uh, railway planning, planning. Yeah. so this, this is, is the planning it, yeah okay so we have the the rail line itself yeah there, and then electricity on the side yeah, lines yeah okay and this one is it just because the railway line planning and power flow movement yeah and there at the end we have got the issue of power planning yeah i've got the railway line power movement so yeah now these are highly technical issues that we're getting into yeah how did you sit down to think of such things okay well, i just say uh, go on google I have to go on Google. I have to check. I have to read. Yeah, Do you so mean you copied this idea? No, no, I, no, I just copied. There's a few things that I got from Google. Other things. Oh, these things I have to myself. Thinking out how it can work. How it can be. This is how it is. What do you do? As in what, what job do you have? The job that I have. I'm yeah. just doing some small jobs there in industries. That's the job that I do. I'm trying to connect the two because if you were maybe into ele electrical works and things like no, that. No, I've never been a, in that way working in that. Way. But how come you understand the movement of electricity? Because you earlier on told us those uh, PH, HZ, is it PH, A to Z, and you're saying electricity cannot move to the other side yeah. because of. You explained uh, this, it very this is, well. I use my idea to think because I'm an innovator. As an innovator, it's based on what got that idea, that capacity of thinking how it can work how it can be grade, grade seven yeah. do people get it grade seven is thinking like that are, are you are you getting it i'm i'm still trying to think it <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just sit down and then start thinking yeah, just thinking yeah people have already those who have traveled they've traveled on an electric uh, train before they've been to china they've been to the uk they've been to south africa they've been to japan they have speed trains already yeah and they, those are electrically propelled yeah what's the difference between your method this one uh, and my, that one yes the difference is uh, this one it doesn't require the federal road and also uh, this one is uh, very cheap to co to make it because it's very simple you think even us in Zambia can do it? Yes, yes. Without any assistance no, at all? No assistance. The power, triple, triple P, yeah. what, what do you, what, what's this power operation in train? train. And yeah. then you it call it power PPPP. P, P. Which means PPP, P, which means, I mean, it is positive, this is negative. So, this is this. And then the diagram shows. That when the, for example, when the uh, the train is on the railway line, so it has got uh, it has got uh, the power, the the tire, mm -hmm. the the wheel, the the function of the wheel is to obtain power from the railway line, go straight to to, to what I call uh, what I call myself, I call it P H P H, I call it P H. When they you see. This P, this P, which means power tires, power tire. The power tire, the function of it is to obtain power from the railway line, and you have to go straight to the pH. That, that's that's a, a grade seven telling us that. I don't want to use these other words that you use if somebody dropped out of school at grade seven. I think we should change the way we think of those people that dropped out of school. We've heard of superstars world over who dropped out of school and went into music and they've become so famous. Why not recognize our very own and try to help them out? This is, is genius, without a doubt. So you can even 
coin words in line with what something will be doing yeah. for the train. Yeah. Okay. So he's got this, the concept of how the, the rail line will be and how everything can work out. Uh, as you can see, uh, these are the, the wheels of a train. Two, yeah. four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Okay. Wow. There's a lot of explanation, a lot of diagrams, a lot of writings, a lot of, you know, crisscrossing drawings. But it's all to try and authenticate. Maybe. Tell us, have you ever spoken to anyone who has that no, I've scientific... Never no. No. Why? I don't have that opportunity to meet the, those people. So this is the reason I didn't me, me, meet that person you are talking about. Okay. Yeah. What's been the response to those that have looked at it? No, nobody looked at it before. The neighbors is, don't know? No, they don't know anything about don't it. Don't tell us! Ah, this is true. Okay. Maybe you can be able to see people coming, but nobody never ever seen it before. So b before us, mm. who has seen this? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> nobody. It's an electric train, yeah. which you sat down, thought of it, coined it, yeah. Yeah. and nobody has seen it yeah. until we came here. Yeah. But I'm told you've been to radio stations, don't mention their names. Yeah. Uh, you've been to radio stations and people haven't given you an opportunity to yeah, get to... Yeah. Okay. What's your next step? Uh, my next step is uh, what I am looking for is to for support, help, so that uh, when I receive support and help, this is how now I can move further. I can move now far, mm. so that I can able to come up with a new plan. This is just a sample so that maybe people can able to understand. Because when you explain something without a... Uh, 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 people seeing what I'm doing, they can't understand it. So mm. it's better for them to before I explain, they see what I'm doing so that maybe they can they can able to understand. Yes. So let me end by simply trying to move it myself. He earlier on moved it. Yeah, so it. the reverse is such that positive and negative, yeah. when you attach them there to the electric wire, it moves forward. Yeah. If you when want you, it to move you backwards, you swap. just swap them, yeah, yeah. negative to the other side. Yeah. Okay, now it's me being the driver. Our power is coming from the solar. Yeah. How do you know this is positive, this is negative? There's blue and yeah, yeah. green. Yeah. So which one is negative? Negative is what? The blue one. Yeah. Okay, so it's here. So what I simply have to do is to just connect. <clears throat> so we are told if you want the train to move faster on this electric train, all you need to do is tighten the, yeah. these wires because that's where it's moving. So when they are tight and straight, then it moves faster. It's going to go forward. All right. So maybe attach that one there. Touch that. And then this one. Haha. <laughs> Sounds good. There you go. Yeah. We've reached Livingston from Lusaka on an electric train. When it's done, fully done, using your idea, yeah. um, what's the maximum speed do you think? Uh, my maximum speed will be about uh, maybe uh, 300 kilometers per hour. That would be I amazing. think it will be a, this will, because it's going to travel very faster mm -hmm. yeah. using yeah. electricity. Yeah. Thank you so much. This has been the Zambian Genius and embrace locally grown innovators. It doesn't matter how far they've gone in their education. What we need to nurture is such ideas, and then it, it may not be the rail, the train itself that comes out of this, or maybe we could just get to do something else using his idea. So that's been our act for today. Next time you see the Zambian train, think it, think the idea, homegrown solution.